everyone, welcome to the latest Freelancer Masterclass video. I am Mike Vulcan. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we got a lot of good content coming out uh, consistently in, in relating to the freelance industry. Today we're talking about how to write killer Upwork proposals. Oh, and I don't want to forget, be sure to put in the comments any anything you want us to talk about any future videos. We get a lot of our content ideas from you guys. So uh, the comments have been great. Keep them coming. Uh, today we're going to be talking about writing killer Upwork proposals. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. First of all, let's define what a proposal is. It's an initial query into a job opportunity. So you go to Upwork, you see a job that you think you can do, and you put in a, an email or a message to that person saying, yes, here I am, here's my proposal, um, here's what I can do for you, here's my rate, all that good stuff, right? But if you guys know me and uh, and have been listening to my content, you'll know that I test everything. I've tested everything in my profile. That's why I come up at the top of search engines and in Upwork for anything marketing related. Um, I'm on the homepage of Upwork for that reason. I get noticed, um, but I've done the same type of testing for my proposal. I know what converts prospects into clients. So let me show you some of the tricks of the trade. But before I do, a quick warning. There is a full class we teach about this at uh, Freelancer Masterclass. So this is not the full class because that wouldn't be fair to the students for them to enroll in the course and uh, and then have me give this publicly on YouTube. So I'm going to give just the, the the top very tip of the the iceberg of what uh, I would be teaching in the class. This will give you enough to improve your existing proposal, hopefully. And if you want something more thorough, more in depth with actual examples, uh, you can enroll in Freelancer Masterclass. It's free. So um, let's go ahead and get at it. First of all, some stats. Uh, I've done testing, as I just mentioned. Did you know that bids under 100 words, bids and proposals are interchangeable in this case, bids under 100 words get a 27% response rate. Bids over 100 words get a 24.3% response rate. Now, these are my stats and my testing I've, I've done on dozens and dozens of proposals. I've done long form proposals, which are very, I don't want to say long winded because they're well written. And then I've done very short and sweet ones that just give them exactly what they need and tell them to call me. And that's the one that gets the higher percentage by a few percentage points. Okay. So don't think that a, a proposal or a bid is. Uh, something that has to be long winded, a big book that you have to scroll through and, and just read everything. Chances are clients or actually prospects in this case, you're not a client until they pay you. They, they don't want to read a booklet. They've got other proposals and bids they got to they got to sort through. And another interesting stat is that bids with videos are 31 percent and bids without videos are 25.9 percent. So what I did there, and yes, you, you might think, well, I, I have a video in my uh, in my profile. Is not that enough? No. Uh, use a tool like uh, Loom.com. You could do free videos, and this basically puts you ahead of the herd. Um, what you do is with uh, Loom.com, you will do a video screen share, share just like I'm doing now. My picture's in the lower left-hand corner, and um, or my video, and I'm talking through my my experience, my expertise. If you send a Loom.com or similar service link in with your bid, you will get a much higher response rate. OK, so 31 percent compared to almost 26. So it's a good five percentage points increase. So if you think you'd send out 100 bids, you get five more responses this way by just including a video. And you might think, well, Mike, uh, videos take too long. I just copy and paste the same the same bid for everybody. I, I have my standard stuff. Well, great. Then you keep doing what you're doing and the rest of us will keep winning pr projects. OK, uh, but if you want to take an extra five minutes or even two minutes, um, creating a video for your prospects, then you will get a higher response rate. All right. So let's get into the, the nitty gritty of it. Components of a great vid bid other than the video that I just mentioned. Uh, first of all, a custom sentence that specifically references their project. This isn't a, a greetings of the day, sir. My name is this. You know, I get that all the time. Standard copy and paste. Just wondering if, you know, I'm hiring free freelancers all the time. I'm referring to myself as a prospect here. I get this all the time. You know, I'm wondering if you even read my job description. Just because I had SEO in the title doesn't mean that you can do it. There's lots of different types of SEO. There's on page, there's off page, there's e-commerce specific, there's local specific. You know, you can't do it all. 
You're not an expert at every single thing. Just like when people tell me they're an expert, they're a full stack marketer or full stack programmer. That doesn't do anything for prospects. You can't be great at everything. I'd rather see you specialize in something, okay? So a custom sentence that specifically references their project and your match for that skill set. Uh, tell them who you are and who you've helped in the past. This gives you instant validity. And I'm not talking about a long-winded paragraph of who you are. I'm talking about uh, a sentence or two. And this goes back to our freelancer master class students and how they develop their value proposition and their, and their USP, their unique selling proposition. That should go here at this point. So if you don't have that, then get one. If you don't know how to get one, then enroll in freelancer master class, okay? Uh, the next one is to appeal to their needs and their pain points. Um, so tell them the work that you like to do that, um, that provides commonality into what you are asking. So when you talk about pain points, every single project has a pain point, everything that you see posted. People need something from you, they need a solution, and you are the, the solution to their problem, okay? Um, tell them that you like doing it. It's not just a, a nine to five job, you're passionate about it. And there's commonality there so they can see that, hey, I have this problem and this person not only has the solution, but has the expertise and likes doing that solution. So let's hire them. OK, this next one is, is a big converter. It's kind of the secret sauce. And we're going to discuss that in Freelancer Masterclass. I'm sorry, I cannot give that away here uh, that all my students will get mad if they see me make this publicly available. But there's a there's a good chunk here that will convert them for prospects to clients. But um, the last part of this is to keep it short and polite and ask for that call. So many times I get these bids from when I'm hiring freelancers, they just don't ask for a phone call. They don't ask for a Skype call. Um, you have to ask. If you, if you don't ask, you're not going to get it. OK, you're just going to be just filed away somewhere. You're either going to be archived or you're going to be bookmarked so, to follow up with later, uh, just like everybody else. So I have here. Let's go through some examples. But this is in the, uh, a part of the freelancer master class. Um, presentation where we actually walk through some exact wording examples of what I've done to capture clients that pay me uh, projects in many thousands of dollars. Uh, and you can just basically copy and paste what I what I put, but we're not going to go through that in, on this class. I'm sorry, but again, that's for the students. And it's not like uh, it, it's not like this costs a lot of money. Just enroll, and it's it's a free course. So, uh, but you need to be a student at Freelancer Masterclass. Um, but really, if, if you don't do the above, then you need to do this to increase your proposal. And that includes a video as well. So you make that custom sentence. That should be your opening sentence right away. It tells the prospect that you read the pro that you read the job description. OK, uh, then tell them who you are and who you helped and then appeal to their pain points. And then lastly, you just got to uh, keep that short and polite and ask for that call. Be polite. OK. That should do it. That should increase your chances of winning a project on Upwork. So good luck.